talked about Apple Pay before here, but it's been a while. So what so what it is is it's an encrypted um it takes your credit card and digitalize it into your Apple phone. Um, and it's technically more secure than swiping your card or using the chip because each time it encrypts it differently. So there's less chance of being able to steal any information from the card reader itself. Um, but as poor Elsa found out that there's some um, evil villains that um, come on and if they get a hold of your credit card and add it to your wallet, it's going to automatically, when you get a new card, update all the security information and things. So for Elsa, every time when she got a new credit card, the since the person had added it to their Google, their Apple wallet, it auto add kept changing it so she couldn't get rid of them from using her credit card until she contacted the bank to remove all digital wallets but it's basically a digital wallet uh you'll be seeing tell me if i'm speaking above your head let me let me show you something first okay can you see this sort of yeah yes back up it a little yeah it's got your vaccination card it does but it also has my credit cards in it. That's an Apple wallet. Is that the same thing that you're talking about? That is, yes. I can show you what mine looks like because mine looks almost exactly the same since it's easier for me to screen share. If you get it, if you throw your iPad or your iPhone, plug it into your Apple, you can do it. It's this app here, the Apple wallet. Yeah. So if you click that, you can add your credit cards. You can see I've got four here. Um, and I, and I, um, so there's several ways to use it. Apple Cash is another like digital cash payment options. People can send cash to your friends that way um, and use it. So there's three ways of using it, Chuck, uh, depending on how your Uber driver is going to do it. If you've ever seen that little symbol on like Wawa gas stations, it's, mm -hmm. it's a little square box with like yeah. a little bars. Yeah, little curved lines in yeah. it. In so a, if, you, a v. if you pick the credit card you want, say I want to use my Discover card, I just hold my phone up to that reader right. and it will go. And just by holding it up to that little square box, it's going to transfer the money digitally over that. Okay, I'm good with that. I, I do that all the time, but I'm not sure how I can give money to my Uber driver using mm -hmm. Apple Pay. Um, so I wonder um, if, are you using the Uber app? No, I. It, this is kind of a private transaction and uh, I texted him the other day and asked him what his methods of payments were. And he said, cash or Apple pay. So oh, I wonder if he means Apple cash. Now he specifically said Apple pay. Okay. Because have a little reader or something that. So is it, is he like a friend of yours? A friend of a friend. Okay, so are you like texting with him currently to like yeah. talk about this? Yeah. Or do you think like when you walk in his car, we get in his car, he'll have a little credit card box? Well, that that's what I'm not sure. All he said was, I asked him what his preferred methods of payment were, and he said cash or Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't but, understand cash, but I don't understand... I didn't understand Apple Pay at what it what it was, but now that I had that under control, I'm not sure how I would transfer money to him. So my guess is um, he wants you to transfer. I don't know if you have Apple Cash. Not that on I'm here. aware of. Um, there should be a feature for you. <laughs> 
in your Apple wallet. I've already got mine set up, so it's going to look differently. But you can see once I clicked on it, it says send or request money. And if I hit the send a request, I could say text it to someone, you know, uh -huh. and then go next. And I want to either request or pay. I want to send ten dollars to mom, right? And okay. then just hit that or request ten dollars from someone. Similar to um, <coughs> similar to Venmo or Zill, okay, whatever that is. So how do I get to Apple Cash and Apple Wallet? Um, so it, when you open the Apple Wallet feature, right? Is there in the corner um, of it like a little plus button? Yes. And if you click that, is there Apple Cash maybe? It says add to wallet and I have available cards debit, credit card, transfer card, driver's license, or state ID. Hmm. I see nothing that says the word cash next to it. Yeah. If you say debit or credit card, does that... I'll have to... Let me pull up Google. I know if you text someone now, that is a feature. If you were to, like, pull up your... Per, like if you pulled up someone's name. It wants me to add my debit card to the wallet. Yeah. You, uh, oh, just your regular debit card, not. Yes. It probably needs to set up a, um, like it, it needs you to load money onto it is my guess. Um. And I don't know how to do that either in this case. So let's see what app, what the website says. Um, so um, oh no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Set up. I just went back to the, the main screen for Apple Wallet, and it has my three credit cards, the vaccination card, and then there's a little black box in there that says pay cash. Mm. Oh, and it says I clicked on it. It says set up Apple Cash. There you go. Send or receive money in messages or wallet. So, Lynn, I have I'm I'm exactly where Chuck is. Um, set up Apple Cash. I think that's where you are, Chuck. Yeah. Like, if you set this up, does that make you vulnerable now? It, do you know what I mean? Like if I set it up and I wasn't going to use it right away, is it like having an open checkbook? I'd say it's like having cash in your wallet. I mean, you could easily leave your wallet at the church and somebody take money out of your wallet. Yeah. So like if somebody got your phone, and figured out your PIN number and got your phone, they could get the money, say, if they wanted to. So it's a digital version of like leaving your wallet on a train or somewhere. So well, go ahead. It only needs the PIN number, the short PIN number that we use to get our phone started. Mm -hmm. which doesn't seem all that secure. Um, but they would also need to know how to use digital money, um, which not everybody does. It's technically more secure than carrying cash or credit cards from a electronic standpoint, because it's harder to trace. It's all encrypted through the server. Um, but there's a vulnerability with anything. Right. And the internet is the internet, which is never 100% secure. Well, I think I saw somewhere on their, on the website, I did a search for Apple Pay yesterday, and, and it said that it's usable overseas mm -hmm. with no, overse no uh, transaction fees 
or anything like that. No overseas transaction fees, mm. uh, which is nice because lots of times with credit cards, you're paying an extra fee on top of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the other thing I did, I went through that process and now it, it evidently has told me that Apple or Paycash has set, a, has set up and now it wants me to add a debit card and says, use a debit card to add money to your Apple cash balance. Mm -hmm. I have to do that, right? Yeah, I would think. So it would deduct then the money. So if you had a zero balance in your Apple cash, I've got 68 bucks because people have paid me mm -hmm. similar to, to how your Uber, they go, oh, I, you know, you paid $10 for dinner. We split the bill and since we used your credit card, they're reimbursing me. Um, so what, if I have that 68 bucks, if I pay you 60 bucks, it's going to take that 60 from that total of 68. But if you're at zero, like you are now. Yeah. Um, so unless, you know, I were to pay you 50 bucks and then you sent that to the Uber driver. Does that make sense? Okay. So, so I can't pay him with Apple cash next Wednesday, unless I put money from my debit card into Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. Which seems as simple as just handing him, a, you know, the cash too. Yeah. But maybe he's not a cash person. Well, he evidently, uh, he evidently accepts <laughs> cash because that was one of his methods of payment, mm -hmm. which up until yesterday, I guess, or today that was my plan to pay him with cash so you can only use this with a debit card is that correct you it needs to sync it with your like bank account right because it doesn't want to risk paying um the balance from a credit card say if you're like oh okay. say you're you know overbalance and you're not paying your credit card bill um which i'm not saying any of us are doing but it's it's taking that risk factor out if that makes sense okay so it's hooked up to a checking account then mm -hmm. so would it be wise to have a special checking account where you didn't have a whole lot of money in there mm -hmm. yeah That'd be an easy workaround solution. Right. Um, so <clears throat> as your like cash fund or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure I can make all that happen. Before it's next, yes, Miss Renee. Next <laughs> I, I had a question along these lines. Now, when you spoke about Europe, my husband got Apple Pay this summer when he was in Europe and came back and said it was the greatest thing since cream cheese. Um, but has very few places here. I mean, he, he tries to use it and they don't take it. Mm -hmm. um, have you found that, that not many places in the U.S. take it? I would say in the last two to three years, uh -huh. that has changed. Um, oh, because this is like last month that he's talking yeah. about. You know? <laughs> I'd be curious where he's going to do this because um it used to be because i have apple pay on my watch so i just double tap my watch and just touch oh the watch <laughs> um because i'm a nerd as you guys all know um but um in the last year or two like all of the gas stations in the area uh -huh. added the little chips mm -hmm. all the grocery at least the grocery stores i'm going to which is giant and yeah. wagons and uh, Target and things uh -huh. like that. All of them have it installed um, on their chip readers. Oh, okay. So um, there are okay. like the big chains uh -huh. uh, have it. Um, but restaurants, for the hmm. most part, if it's a small independent business, right? But they might I don't not, know. <laughs> um, because there is a little bit more of a fee to that. Right. Um, but if they use um, a software called Square, um, most all of those have that feature. Uh huh. Um, okay. Perhaps he hasn't updated me recently. We're waiting for duties to get it. 
Oh, he's saying nudies doesn't take it. Oh, oh well. interesting. Yeah, <laughs> that's that that no, the only place we take it. They well, don't. I know that. But yeah. I've used I've used the the tap feature uh, on my phone at gas stations and at grocery stores and a number of other places I can't think of at the, off the top of my head, <laughs> but it does work very nicely, but I just didn't have any idea what this Apple cash was. Yeah. <clears throat> could, and, and Lynn, could you review the bad stuff that can happen with Apple Pay? You were talking about um, a friend, I believe mm -hmm. that, can, yeah. can you reiterate that? <laughs> so, so I might have part of it on recorded because it, Elsa is part of our tech time family uh, oh, okay. who, who due to uh, babysitting uh, things that have popped right, up, she right. no longer can do Thursdays, but she's an avid uh, watcher of our recording uh -huh. and emails. Oh, okay. Um, but she um, had a problem all of a sudden on her credit card bill, there were payments to DoorDash that she was not, she doesn't have a digital yeah. bank account she does everything right. old school um and doesn't use doordash uh -huh. um so she went to the credit card company and they're like okay you know, we'll reimburse you for that stuff mm -hmm. uh here's a new credit card um for you with all of the new information thinking that 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 would you know stop yeah solve the issue but the whoever got a hold of her number um had added it to a digital wallet and digital wallets one of the features Just that i like it. about them yeah. you don't have to update your credit card like the three pin number at the back whatever that's called um so every time i get a new card it just magically updates and i think chuck you or i or someone had the, a problem we're like how do we update this yeah, um, I was asking how to update those, and then you said that it does it automatically, and yeah. you're right, it did. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so this credit card company said also like three or four credit cards yeah. um, before she came on Tech Time and went, "What's going <laughs> on?" <laughs> yeah. And we ruled it out as it's somebody had added it to a digital wallet. Um, so she right. went to the bank and the bank had was thankfully able to mm -hmm. remove all the digital wallets on her account, which uh -huh. solved the issue. Um, okay. So I don't know if every bank is able to do that or not. Right. She was lucky that they were able to. Uh -huh. Well, that's, that's good to hear it again, because you wouldn't think that you would think, because say when uh you know when we got hacked on my laptop and all and i got new credit cards well i have to call i don't have all that app i don't have a digital wallet so i had to call each place to give them the you know put the new number in and verify and whatever um so um i don't want ever want to have this digital pay thing <laughs> so, it's not so for everybody well, it sounds almost more trouble than it's worth. Now, he also, when he you know, came home, oh, this is so great. Let's put it on your phone. But we got distracted and never went back to it. So how do I get it off? It's it just like I never verified my credit card number. Mm. So if you haven't verified your credit card number, uh -huh. you might not. Um be able or you it might not oh i'm so dumb here i just clicked on something and it says remove card yeah so. <laughs> um i found it too i'll show it for everybody else yeah. because others might have i have to question. say sometimes you know when you uh click you know you click on something then all of a sudden it opens this i guess i'm emotionally scarred from the evil people getting into my laptops <laughs> <laughs> we're all scarred from the internet yeah. Yes. So yeah, if you pick a card and go here, um, yeah. go to card details, um, right. and you can call easily call the number for the bank if you need to. Um, oh, okay. And then yeah, there, remove, I didn't see it at the bottom. <laughs> remove card. <laughs> so um, I am effectively unwalleted. Yep. So so one of these the card number say that's going to 
you can see there's the, a physical card number, but there's uh -huh. also an Apple card number. And the Apple wow. card numbers is going to change. It's different uh -huh. than the physical, which right. is one of the ways that it's encrypted. Uh, but that number changes probably every time you open your Apple wallet. Uh -huh. So, well, I'm never opening it again. So we're safe. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but if you uh, say talk, oh, I'm sorry, Meg. Uh, to your grandchildren or, you know, people that friends that have young children, babysitters are getting paid this way. It's how the young, the young people <laughs> want, want to receive money instead of cash. Uh, yes, Ms. So basically, Lynn, it's, it's Apple's version of Venmo. Mm -hmm. Yep. But it's supposedly more secure. I would say Venmo and Apple are comparable. Okay. I wouldn't say one's better than the other. Um, they're 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 just competition to each okay. other. I know Bev has Venmo on her phone and has used it a few times. Mm -hmm. But not everybody accepts Venmo. Obviously, my Uber driver doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so it, everybody's funny with what one they like yeah. um it's it's a running joke my mom at her office they do a they do a staff lunch every thursday and so half of them are now millennials or, or gen zers so not all of them have cash 10 years ago my mom always collected ones to pay her co-workers back in cash <laughs> um but now half the staff use these digital wallets but my mom's the only one with all the platforms so she's like yeah. this co-worker paid her five dollars oh, for yes. this and this person paid in venmo for ten dollars and my dad gets these things and he's trying to do the financial stuff and he just screams every week yes. he's like why do you be so nice to all these yeah. people <laughs> not helpful my son finally fin told us that he set himself up with Venmo because people they'd go out and somebody wouldn't have the money so he'd pay and they were going to pay him back so this doesn't put him on the defense mm -hmm. he just tells them to Venmo what they owe to him <laughs> whereas before it holds it was people accountable in a way yeah, like yeah. before Venmo and Apple Pay I would be like okay to my bro I would say to my brother okay we bought this from a mom and dad for christmas let's split the bill and he never actually ever pay me reimburse me but now i can venmo him and he actually pays me back because yeah. it's just like accept so yeah. that's that's what he did because then you have to be asking people and then it looks makes you look bad oh remember that 20 bucks you borrowed from me uh two years ago <laughs> like then yeah but i did not know what it, what it even was until he mm -hmm. described what it is so uh, yeah people pay rents to each other and wow. utility bills this uh -huh. way um it's huge in my generation Yes. But Meg, yes. I know you've had a question forever. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I was really excited to hear that you're talking about Apple Pay because, you know, last week I was at the mall and I wanted to get a Shake Shack to go. So I sat there and I'm putting in my credit card information to pay for it. And I'm thinking, I've always worried about the security of Apple Pay, but how insecure is it to be entering my credit card information when I'm in a public place? Mm. So my question, though, a couple, a couple questions. One of them is, if somebody does get my phone, I mean, all my programs and things on my phone, I go with a super secure password. I'm there with 14 digits, all that. This is four digits to get into here. Will they be able to then get in and use my credit cards without any further proof that it's me required? Mm -hmm. If they can open up my phone? Right. Um, so yeah, if they guess your four digit phone number or pin number and you can up it to six if you want but that's still not all that secure um and they go say to like the starbucks app or whatever you have on your phone um you're right it's pretty much they can easily just unless there's a verification code and some apps and things 
you can set up a two-step authorization code for payments. Um, it's like the child um, security features, but you have to do that per app. And that would be paying through the app, not necessarily the digital wallet. So I did your vector identification because, you know, like with my uh, professional things, mm -hmm. I do I get to the program, I have to change my codes, but I do it on my phone. So why don't they just get my verification on my phone and, uh, mm -hmm. and verify? Oh, yeah, that's me <laughs> because they've got mm -hmm. my phone. I was, I don't understand the protection. Yeah, that I'd say is the biggest vulnerability um of the digital wallet phone stuff um then the nice thing is uh, most credit cards if they do purchases that are uncommon for you will reach out to you before they actually charge you if they if like somebody gets a hold and goes okay i'm going to walmart and i'm spending 600 bucks or something that might not necessarily be what you would do um they would check but you're right it is it is the biggest risk factor um and i would say i would agree with you adding your credit card information on a public wi-fi uh is probably not the best idea it's better to do it in your home on your own wi-fi um or by just using your cellular data plan um I'd say it's very unlikely um, that anything would happen, but it does have a little bit more of a risk. Um, granted, no, everything on the internet is a risk. There's no easy mm -hmm. one answer. It's just how how much are you wanting, how, how much of a um, hide in the woods and be completely disconnected from anything electronic do you want to be um, I guess it would be the same though if they got if they just grabbed my wallet and took the credit cards out of it so it's really not an increased risk it, it's it's the digital version of it as I was saying about leaving your purse with money you know somewhere um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, 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 my question to you then would be how often do you leave your phone places and un, unattended yeah. um that would be the biggest you know unknown um i am notorious for if i don't have my phone in in like 15 minutes i'm like i i've lost it somewhere i need to go find it um so it's pretty much always with me so i'm not concerned about that but I am not, I am unusual in that a lot of people are, you know, very good about leaving their phone at home or at work. Or anywhere. Or anywhere. So, <laughs> so or, my other question is, how do they make money? They don't charge us for using it, right? So is it from, is it like a credit card? It's the person that we're buying things from that's paying mm -hmm. the fee? Yep. Oh. Yep. Um, so... Um, the church, for example, if you use a credit card fee when you donate money through online giving, um, you have a you have an option of paying that transactional fee, and it's two to three percent normally uh, to to uh, whoever you are paying it to, um, and you have the option for the church to pay that fee. And I, when I pledge, that's how I do it, but not everybody does it. Um, so um, that's why you see um, that. But it, it, it's a credit card transaction fee that is across the board. It's not an increased additional fee if you use Apple Pay, right? So it's not like they're getting hit twice, once for the credit card fee and then another for the Apple Pay or, or Google Pay, depending on if you're Android, Apple. Um, but... Like my hairdresser, I wouldn't want to add another fee onto her. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so a lot of the small independent, to Renee's point, um, those are the ones that are, you know, ones pe that are still cash only, um, or, or kind of like we we don't want you to pay with a credit card fee unless it's over ten dollars, uh, because they they can't make money at that point. Um, 
and they're not like the church that asks you all the time for <laughs> please pay this fee um Got or right. they are upping their fee like a dollar to cover that cost right all right, I think I'm going to go into the 21st century here. <laughs> no, no, stay I, I highly recommend switching to Apple Pay. I I I think it's a lot better, but I, I know that some people like their cash and they like the credit card. It saves you a lot of time. You don't have like at the gas station, I don't have to like hunt for my credit card. I just take get out of my car. Um, <laughs> and flash your hand, flash your watch. my hand on. <laughs> um, yes, Miss uh, Gail. Oh my, yeah, um, my stomach is sort of turning over here. Two years ago, almost to the day, I decided to take piano lessons, which is a wonderful thing. Uh, that's not the problem. The way she she bills everybody the same way. She uses a cash app. So when I went to her she said this is the way people pay it's the cash app this is two years ago I barely remember detail and I just trusted her so um the long and the short of it is there's a cash app on my phone which I guess we loaded at that time and it's attached to a a, a large account I'm embarrassed to say a large account I don't use that cash app except as the one that's billed. And I say, go ahead and take it from this account. Um, now I'm thinking that's the craziest thing in the world that's attached to this account. I, I don't even know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, well, I don't even know what the cash account is. All I know is that's how, why did I put that? I guess I must have attached it to this account. I, I wasn't thinking. Mm -hmm. Do you know what app it is, Gail? It's just called, it's just called cash. It's called, um, here, it has like a, a dollar, a dollar here. Um, here, no, it has a, wait, let me get it. All right. No. Okay. I think I can do it like that. Can you see that? It just has a dollar sign. It's about the fifth row down. It has a dollar sign on it. It says cash app next to TD. It, yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, it's green and it just says cash app. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me Google that one or go to the Apple store. Okay. Um, I never gave it a second thought until just. But I would say, Gail, um, a lot of the website or recommendations I have read online about online money um, in your checking balance that you use, uh, whatever credit card or things you have linked to that, that um, checking account is the amount of money you're willing to risk for somebody stealing money. Um, if you were to say get hacked, um, or somebody were to get a hold of something, um, most play, most of the time you can get your money back, but it's they, they are recommending keeping as little, um, like in your actual checking account that you're linking to online payments to Amazon and things like that. Um, so it's pretty much just how much you want to cover. Um, and that's different people's recommendations, but that would be a one way of setting it up. And I think you could switch if you created as scale as you threw out a um, digital money account with your bank. Um, that might be a workaround to that. Um, but food for thought that's one yeah. of the tips that they've recommended yeah oh here it you is so I, say, maybe I could call my bank and ask what the liability is mm -hmm. oh it does look pretty legit yeah 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 i wouldn't be oh it's through square 
I was kind of saying square. And if you come to the shop for hope, you you'll be able to pay through the um, square, but it's so yeah, it's legitimate. You should be able to easily switch over. So. Okay. Square. Okay. Switch over okay. Your, whatever account you're connected to. Well, there must be a reason I signed on today. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> We're always glad to have you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So that sounds like good advice for all of our things like PayPal and whatever, not mm -hmm. have it hooked up to our checking account uh, to set up maybe a, an ind you know, one account to draw from that doesn't have that much money in it as opposed mm -hmm. to the checking account or the savings account card, savings accounts and things like that that's something i hadn't thought of either and that's a good idea because you just automatically link it to your especially when now everybody wants your the digits off your your check number you know the routing number <laughs> yeah it's not a good thing too <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah thank you <laughs> yeah Yes, just one more thing to manage and make sure there's enough money in there yes. to cover everything, right? <laughs> um, the, unfortunately, when it comes to the internet, it, it, it just means you have to do a lot more work to avoid the likelihood of um, getting hurt by hackers <laughs> or yeah. bad guys out there. Um, they don't make it easy for us. And the likelihood of it happening is slim, but better to be safe than sorry. Insurance, pretty much, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Chuck, sorry. Uh, Shirley pointed out to me this past weekend when we were out in Chambersburg that there are some restaurants, for example, are adding a credit card fee to your bill. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. And they don't tell you about it. And if you pay by credit card, then it's a, an extra fee for using your card. But if you're planning to pay with cash, mm -hmm. supposedly they'll deduct it. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, you have to be careful because if they don't, you're paying that credit card transaction fee anyway. So. Oh, yeah. 3%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you I've, also had at, I've had that at two restaurants here in town recently. Hmm. Because the first one I saw it and I was there like, how do they know that I'm paying with a credit card? Because I wasn't planning to. I was planning to pay cash. And I was there like, they put on a 3% charge and then everybody around the table looked and said, oh yeah, it's on my bill too. So we called the waitress over and we asked her and we said, what is this all about? And she said, We're, we've decided to pass along the 3% credit card processing fee. So if you pay by credit card, it'll have an additional 3% on there. And if you pay by cash, I'll take the 3% off. So I paid by cash and then I double checked to make sure that she had deducted the 3% off my bill, that she did. Mm -hmm. But did she only do that because we questioned her about it that day? Is it a, I don't know if it's a normal practice, um, but just be alert when you're, when you're looking at your bill, you might see a 3% processing mm -hmm. fee. Those mm -hmm. companies are deciding to pass that fee onto the consumer instead of paying the fee themselves mm -hmm. um so go ahead gail or karen <laughs> so i guess you see a lot at gas stations cash a price and then credit card underneath a higher price you know the gas stations seem to catch on to that quicker particularly over new jersey yes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i don't see it too much in pennsylvania unless it's a luke oil station i was gonna say i haven't seen that Mm -hmm. Yeah, Luke Oil does that. But over in Jersey, it's very common. Fortunately, I don't go into Jersey very much anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that is an issue also. Mm -hmm. And there are places that don't accept cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which is disconcerting too, because yes. one of the challenges, especially for lower income families, they don't have access to digital wallets or credit cards. So they're being cut out of this whole market and not able 
to do any of that. And it leaves them unable to get groceries or things like that or go to restaurants. Um, it's a big concern at the moment. What's well, interesting, I was in Wegmans not too long ago and their self-service checkout booths, they have a sign right up above them that says no cash accepted here. Yeah. So if you go through the self-service, you've got to use a credit card, whether you want to or not. If you don't want to, then you have to go through a regular register right. and stand in line and pay them cash. <clears throat> so Chuck, if I go to Wegmans, which I do, and I pay with my American Express, which I do, are they charging me extra? Is Wegmans I don't know that. I, I, I haven't been there to buy things. I usually get something through the, and go through the self-service line because it's usually quicker. Yeah. And I just give them a credit card quickly with, with my Apple Pay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I can't answer your question, Gail, because I've never, I haven't done that. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know whether they're charging an extra fee like that. I would think if they were, you would see that on the bill, similar to what Shirley was seeing. You mm -hmm. also see those additional fees if you buy tickets in advance for yes. movies, if you yes. use like uh, Vandango. Um, and they're also doing it um, for like um, theater tickets. My mom and I went to see Hamilton finally, and we Yay! got that fee um, <laughs> when we paid for, and it was ridiculously high fee. And it was like, you have to pay this. There was no other way. Well, they've but been, They've been doing that for years, frankly. I mean, <laughs> right. maybe the fee has gone up, but there's, if you buy tickets online through any agency like that, you, there's always been uh, surcharges and surcharge, yeah, yeah. transaction taxes fee. and <laughs> I did see somewhere I could be making it up but I'll, I'll do some digging that they are there is a bill in Congress at the moment to find like avoid those hitting fees or um stop that from happening especially I think for airlines if I remember correctly uh -huh. mm -hmm. does, does somebody else remember that <laughs> but so I think slowly maybe it will be resolved because they know it's an issue. Um, it's just a matter of slow process of making that happen. It will be interesting to see where the future of money goes. Yes, yes. <laughs> really. I have to say at the when we were talking about the grocery store and going through because it's faster going through the line where we check it out ourselves. I do that sometimes, but a lot of times I go the other way, the slower way, because I want to save that cashier's job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. oh. <laughs> well, the self-serve line, I usually have to, you know, call for an attendant anyway. I always do it, you know, do something like wrong. You it's yelling at me for something. You know, put it in the bag. I told you to put it in the bag, or you know, process it wrong. But uh, so yeah, and I go through the cashiers the same thing. Well, they have a job and they're doing a good one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think they should give me a discount if I check myself out. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're saving. They're supposedly saving costs by doing that. Pass that cost along to me. I'm doing the work for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, when I go to Giant, we use the little hand scanner and scan everything as we shop. And then you go through the quick checkout and, you know, the scanner puts all the, the information into the machine, but there's no fee for using any of that, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I do that too, that? but it's actually on the app of my phone. Well, you can do that too. Yeah. So, Giant so has Wegmans has that. I don't know if Acme does, but. I giant doesn't have that. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, the I, uh, Shirley, you should be able to use the app on your phone. There's an app on the phone that you can download because mine doesn't have the scanners. The giant app, you mean? Yeah. I have the giant app on the, my phone. The scan it giant app. Oh, that I don't have. I just have the regular giant app. Yeah, me too. I didn't know they had a, such a thing. It's this one here in the third row. Uh, okay, got it. 
No, I don't have that scan one. It. I just have the regular right. drawing. Scan it. Oh, how about and if that? If you open it, you can do a couple things. And the first one is scan. So you would then find the barcode. You need to be connected to the giant Wi Fi. Yeah. Um, but you scan the barcode on your phone. You can also do a price check. So if you aren't sure how much something is, you can scan the barcode. Um, and you can, if you use the giant app on your phone, it will load the coupons that you clip from that app. So it will deduct automatically from That's that. That's just like the hand scan. It looks just like the hand scanner screen. So you, you can do all of that off the, on the hand scanner too, which we've, we've used for quite a while because it's convenient. It saves time yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Because the prices and, and what, where's your giant, what giant are you at? I do the East Boat Round. Oh, yeah, you're over by my dad. Uh, oh, okay. We use the one at Bradford Plaza and also the one at Dilworth Town. Oh, okay. We've used both of those from time to time. We but I use the, the recyclable bags. Uh huh. Um, so, like you, Renee, I don't want to get yelled at for, you know, <laughs> yeah. using my own bags. Yeah, so, great. I'm able to pre bag everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. As I oh, go. that's great. So, yeah. I don't need to then waste their bag yes, or yes. anything <laughs> I'll have and to i can do it the way i want it to be organized yeah yes, that's the yes. nice part about using the hand scanners or the or your phone app you but know you, you bag, bag it, it as you buy itself. it you scan it you bag it any way you want to and then when you get up to the register you just hold the device or your phone up it creates a barcode for checkout and that's read by a, a device on the side of the machine and your whole list comes up in in there and your you know your coupons <laughs> And everything are all taken off and handled right there. It's it's very very convenient, I have to say, and it's quick. That is good I have technology. Gotten evilized from that people at the other technology. I have gotten evilized from the other people at the scan counter because I, I I start after them and I'm done before they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you have to go cool. to a separate counter to check out. It's uh, just, you, you need to go through the U scan. The self, the check, check yourself yeah. out scan. Yeah, and we you have can go in through, our store. You can go through the uh, cashier as well. You just hand them your phone or barcode, and they'll scan oh, wow. it. And we'll okay, I've it. never done that, but okay. Um, I've yeah. done that once or twice because I go at like six a.m. after my walk <laughs> yeah. um, when it's nice and quiet. <laughs> And um, there's not always uh, the the self checkout open, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I'll have to. I have a little giant in Fraser. I'll have to have them check into that. <laughs> Instead, they spent money on this thing that that you know announces that there's a spill somewhere. Oh, it follows you around and scares Marty. children. Marty, <laughs> Marty, oh, you know him. Those units are worth fifty grand. I understand. <laughs> there's a Marty at every giant. Yep. Oh, so you have that and the scan. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's just have you bought a plush, Marty? They now sell like <laughs> oh, <church no>. stuff. <laughs> I haven't seen that. Oh, I think you'd make a good stocking stuffer for yeah. someone. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll have to look at yes. I just am stop chasing me. No. <laughs> the kids love Marty. Oh, I had some that were afraid. Your 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 little ones like it, huh? <laughs> you take well, a ride. My you neighbor's grandkids came he up. He doesn't get out of your way quickly. Yeah. <laughs> my neighbor's grandkids were visiting, and they're from Georgia. They don't have giants down there, so of yeah. course we had to take them to our giant. And they had to find Marty, and they just hugged Marty, and they were they were like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like really, Marty can get in my way sometimes, but yeah. the kids the kids love him. It was like Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> a celebrity oh my yeah, marty can get in your way and he doesn't move quickly no he does not move quickly uh, oh well i'm gosh. i'm sorry if one of you have actual like tech um <laughs> issues that you might have if we've gone deep dive in apple pay any yeah. any other sorry i caused all that <laughs> no, no, no it's I... a great discussion it's good <laughs> to have but if you have a and I, it's, I, I'd say this is really valuable information to share and have recorded for other people. Yeah. Um, but if anybody has any, like, tech emergency questions that need help, feel free to.
throw them out. Um, well. well, I don't think it's an emergency, but I will ask a question. I would, I would, because I would like to take, like, suck out all the pictures off my phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what do I, I've, people say, oh, buy one of those things. So, so I go and I, what do I buy to suck out all the pictures on my phone? <laughs> you need a vacuum. <laughs> ask because Connie. I, I think she's doing that. Oh, <laughs> no, don't ask Connie. <laughs> um so so no, my phone is my savior it's got all the pictures on it well so that's you why i went them off because because it, it 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 um for some reason it combines my husband's work pictures like it like any pictures that he's taken are in with mine and i i just want to clean it up so to speak without sitting and going you know tap 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 so i didn't know if there's something i can buy that removes the pictures and then I could plug into my laptop or something. Mm -hmm. Do you have an app? You have an iPhone. Yes. Yes, I do. So, so you, all of your photos should be saved to the iCloud. Yes. Um, so they are all sucked to the internet currently. <laughs> right. So, um, you can say, um, save them you can export them from iCloud online and download them to your computer oh. um and then um and then you can delete them mm -hmm. from the phone i see and you see and are the reason that they're combined is because we share the cloud we have mm -hmm. a family cloud yes <laughs> so okay. do you use the same apple id and password no yeah. So, did you set up the family link? Um, I thought when I bought the cloud, more cloud space, they set it up and said, "Oh, mm -hmm. well, why don't you get family cloud?" Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. So that's why you're seeing his stuff yeah. probably too. And there might be a way. I'd have to look at your phone, uh -huh. um, and we could do a deep dive if you want. Um. But um, you might be able to unlink his photos um, mm -hmm. from yours. And, and not that there's, you know, anything weird, but I take pictures of strange things like a flower or a tree I saw yesterday, you know, and then he's got pictures of bridges. And also, <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that there is a, there is not an item mm -hmm. that can... That I, I think can take them off and store them separately. Mm -hmm. I think there is a device. I'd have to do some, I'd have to mm -hmm. Google it and I'm happy to do that. Um, where you plug it into the phone, like a USB mm -hmm. and it can download that. And then it stores like a USB and it has a lightning for the phone port, but it also has a USB that you could plug. Oh, into the okay. Phone. I've okay. seen those advertised. Yeah. I don't know how well they work. I've never yeah. used one. I can't say this is a great product. I yeah, highly yeah. recommend it, but I think that technology exists. Well, I um, shall search Google too. Yes. For a pictures, a photo re sucker. I don't know what else to call it. You know, just a um, <laughs> I would say um, download photos from phone from phone to you computer. Okay. Um, but you want like a device doing that. You don't yes. want to learn how to do it digitally. Download photo, yeah. You I think know what? I actually have that little device, and and I tried doing it, but my I was doing it with my computer, and it was my computer was too old to, you know. <laughs> I wanted to pass from, from my phone to the computer, so. Yes, I think I have that same issue because just lately, maybe the last couple of weeks. My phone says, um, you, you don't have room for the last 11 videos and, and right, right. 30 That's photos right. to be saved to the cloud. And I thought if I just got rid of some photos, that would help. It didn't seem to make a difference. Mm -hmm. If they are videos, they're going to be a larger file. So you'd have to uh -huh. delete a lot more space. Right. Well, no, wait a minute. It sounded like from what you said, Gail, that there wasn't enough space in your cloud. In my cloud. 
to right. update them. So you probably yeah. need to enlarge the, the amount more of storage space. that you have in your cloud. Right. Or yeah. delete so, a lot of photos. Well, that's true. Yeah. So if you well, get well, rid well, of the what? photos, then you have more cloud? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. But it must depends on how much take... you want to keep, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So what because, some of us like me really need is someone to come along and say, okay, those were the good pictures. Get rid of those. Those were the junky ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that takes time that I don't yes. have. Yeah. 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 I, I thought I'd do it when I retired and I haven't. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yes. That doesn't work. Right. No, no. <laughs> and that's why it would be nice to be able to do it on the laptop or the computer because they're bigger. You can see, you could actually see the picture okay. <laughs> or the mm -hmm. photo. <laughs> I don't know how many of you use Dropbox. That's how I do all of this. Um, Dropbox is a cloud-based storage thing and I have it automatically back up all my photos. So for the church on Sunday, at like as I'm driving home, I'm syncing my phone to Dropbox. And then when I get home, I have all the photos that I took that day and I can sort them by into folders. So like, okay, this is the Las Posadas event. This is, yes. you know... The Christmas concert rehearsal. So that way, then I, and then I can delete them all that way, and then I can go on my phone and delete them in packs on my phone. Um, oh, okay. Easier, um, but Dropbox that gives you thirty days of like backup storage. Uh -huh. So if I move it from Dropbox into my actual like computer. And I go, oh, shoot, there was a photo that I deleted accidentally that I really want. It gives me 30 days to go back and get that. Oh. Oh. So that's so you, how I oh. do that. But it's all cloud based. It's not a physical item. Yeah. Maybe you could show us that next week, Lynn. I can do that. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> well, it's good. It sounds like other people had that kind of question, too. So mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Yeah. That's why we it's helpful to bounce these ideas off each yes, other. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. like Make I have sure a you question record that because I won't be here for the next two weeks. Yes. Right. I'll be floating down the Danube. Oh, Ooh, that's awesome. That's right. Froilishly, I'm trying to remember. Froilishly, I'm trying to say like Happy Christmas, but I can't remember how to say it in German. <laughs> Froilishly. <laughs> Is your boy no, that's, Noel, that's French. That's French. That's French uh, yeah. Well, all he remembers is the French. Feliz Navidad, that's Spanish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Have a lovely time. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> <good. laughs> Connie, did you have a question? I have a real quick question. My, my, my photos suddenly start coming, and I've learned that I can zoom in and out with photos on my phone, which I guess is part of the new upgrade. Mm -hmm. But when I take a photo, I get two automatically, HDR and regular. Hmm. If I want to delete one of them, just to, because I don't need two of the same photo, which is preferable to save? Because I'm sure the HDR takes up more bandwidth, so to speak. Yeah. Um, I have mine set for the JPEGs because as nice as the HDR is, it's a high def, uh, but not every software platform accepts those so like if i wanted to upload them to facebook or something not all of them have to accept that and i, I then have to go through photoshop and then convert right. it to a jpeg well, and it, yeah and those are the ones i've been deleting are the hdr ones but mm -hmm. the, the plain ones are just jpegs right right but you should be able to um switch it if you go in settings so that you um, don't have to um, um, get both. If you go to the photo section somewhere. Yeah, I'm on settings of there photos. It is. Uh, um, so, Um, oh, oh, um, Renee, I think this is what you have yeah. shared library, right? Oh, okay. So you could go through that and maybe under settings, see if he's linked to that shared library. Yeah. That way, he, you know, cause I don't want to delete his pictures cause then he won't have them and vice versa. <laughs> um, here you go. Um, um, 
any it's uh view it full hdr yeah where are you i'm I'm on the same thing here you don't see that of all that it's under sh uh show hidden albums oh okay do you see that yeah it's under you it says it says a hidden album will appear in the albums tab under utilities mm. i have it turned on okay <laughs> seem to have everything turned on okay <laughs> yeah that. so do i so you can um you can uncheck that um full uh hdr but i don't see anything that says hdr on here. oh you don't have that um uh, show featured content automatic yeah That's uh keep... no i don't and i i'm i'm up to date hmm. <laughs> Well, and I don't see a way to change it's above, the it's quality. Above show, show Maybe it's under content. camera. There it is. It's under camera. Oh. Camera. Okay. So formats. So smart HDR. I can turn that one off. Uh, yes. Keep normal photo. Yes. And then under camera, you want most compatible versus high efficiency. And oh. you don't want the pro raw and pro res on. I don't I don't have all that stuff because mine's an older phone than yours. Oh I've got formats, record video. Yeah, and the video, you don't need it to be at 4K. Mine is 1080p at 30 frames. Yeah, that's great. That's all you need. Okay. Yep. Okay. And my slow motion is at 240 frames, so it's still 1080. Yeah. Okay. That should be good. Okay, good. All right, thank you. Yep. And I have to I have to tell you the story of why I, I just recorded the dining thing today. But last week he said he's trying to programs that are very similar to in design by Adobe, because I'm gonna have to bite the bullet after the holidays and update my computer because all of my Word uh, Microsoft documents are telling me they can't update update because the software won't let them. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to update. I'm waiting till after the holidays, but I'm going to lose Photoshop, AI, and InDesign. Uh, Sad. Ponder it. We'll talk later. Yeah. Yeah. Publisher is the first thing that pops to mind for me, uh, but I hate Publisher. <laughs> yeah. I've um, heard that about it. I, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't do, I don't, I don't know that I have it. No, it's a Microsoft product, so you wouldn't have it. But Pages does a lot. Yeah, I, have, just... I've, I use Pages. It's it's not as good as InDesign, that's for sure. What kind of things are you trying to do in InDesign? Well, in I was just thinking that I haven't done, used it all that much, but I'm just I'm just shy about giving it up, you know. Because uh, <laughs> the minute I the minute I update and give it up, then I'm going to want it. Mm -hmm. or need it. And, you know, I'm, that's why I've been so shy about upgrading, but I'm going to have to upgrade this operates operating system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and do it because there's, there's no other alternative. Other software is not going to update itself mm -hmm. because of it. So. It's a vicious cycle. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm not paying Adobe's fees for the month or each month to to keep it you know it's it's like the uh did they like get rid of the list. one the one photo um or one price i feel like there was still an option to download like the one maybe they maybe they got rid of that in the last year i i, I bought photoshop elements in, you know to use so my wife could use it and understand it easier than Photoshop. And it's not too bad. It it does a lot of the things that Photoshop does, but it doesn't have all of the features that Photoshop has. But, you know, I was just wondering if you knew of any alternatives to InDesign that was. I will look into it and ponder and ask yeah. some other techie friends. Yeah. If you find something, let me know. Yeah, well, uh, maybe, but I've never used it. What um, was that? Canva. 
I don't know it. It um it does not um have a um it's more photos and design things like that, but it does have some features um okay. like that that you can use, uh like design element like um okay. so maybe look well, into Canva. Think about it and if you find something just Drop me an email or we'll talk at a future Will do. session here next year, probably, because I'm going to be missing the next two. Yes. And the following week, Christmas week, you probably won't have one. No, I think we're all going to be a little busy. Yep. Hard to believe it's almost Christmas. I know. <laughs> I spent all day. I'm going to look for